Hello everyone, this is P with Mr. V. Now, I hope you're ready for a very good workout today. We're going to work out our chest, our triceps, and our abs. For this workout, you will be needing an exercise mat, your Kensington School water bottle, what else, and two chairs, which I've got ready off camera. Now, it's going to be very simple. We're going to do one minute of activation, a warm up to get our heart rate up and our, our body temperature. Then one minute of active stretching, so the muscles that we will be using, so they're ready to, to move and do what we want them to do. And then the actual workout will be 12 minutes. In 12 minutes, we'll do uh, four different workouts of three minutes, okay? Now, within those three minutes, we'll concentrate on each muscle each minute, so the chest, the triceps, and the abs. And within that minute, you try to do the exercise for 10, 20, or 30 seconds, whatever your level is, because this is for all levels and um, you try to do them as good as you can, obviously. Then the rest of the minute is your time to rest, so that, that might be 50 seconds, 40, or half a minute, okay? Now, um, we are about to get started, so make sure that you've got everything ready. And remember, uh, do this at your pace, okay? I know it's a crazy, crazy time we're living in right now. Everyone is at home. Uh, some people can't even get out. So I think it's really important that we do a bit of exercise. And not just cardiovascular exercise, but also a bit of strengthening, okay? Because we, we're no longer going to the, to the patio, we're no longer going upstairs, we're no longer walking. So we have to strengthen our muscles, not just do cardio. So I hope you're ready. We're about to start in 10 seconds with a bit of activation, with a bit of warm up. Okay, we're gonna start with jogging. Without your knee lifts and heel lifts, okay? Hope you're ready. Let's go. Jogging. Jogging without moving. That's it. Keep it up. Okay, we're going to go to knee lifts. Sorry, knee lifts. Very good. Knee lifts. Very good. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Normal jogging. Normal jogging, normal jogging. Just a little activation. You can already hear it in my voice that my heart rate is going up. We're going to lift our knees again. Let's go. Heels. Very good. Two more seconds. Woo. That's it. You can hear our heart rate has gone up. Not sure if you're feeling warmer as well, but I'm sure that inside your body temperature has gone up a little bit. Now, one minute of active stretching, okay? We're going to stretch our chest a little bit, okay? Just by going one, two, three. One, two, three, okay? So we're going to start three seconds. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. That's it. Just to stretch our chest because we will be using it a lot. That's it. That's it. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna stretch our triceps, just throwing punches. Now we're going to loosen up and stretch our abs. Just big circles. Big circles, that's it. Other direction. One to the right. And one to the left. Great, we're ready for our workout. Now, as I said before, it's going to be 12 minutes non-stop. Within those 12 minutes, you have four times three minutes. So we're going to concentrate in that one time, in the first time of three minutes, on our chest, on our uh, triceps, and on our abs. So one minute each, that's three minutes, six, 
9, 12. When you do a workout within that one minute, you decide if you do it 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. Maybe you have to stop before. I will also give you an easier variation of each exercise, like in push ups, for example. Instead of doing normal push ups, you can always do them on your knees, which is less body weight, to push up, which makes it obviously easier. Okay? You decide. The only person you're competing with is yourself. You just try to become the best version of yourself. What a motivation phrase is that. Okay, so let's get started. Let me quickly sip of my Kensington School water bottle. By the way, this uh, whole fitness session is sponsored by Kensington. Okay, we're ready to get started with our push-ups. As close as you can, okay? So, our elbows near our body like that. You can do the normal version, which is here, or you can do the version on your knees, okay? After that, we'll do wide push-ups for our chest, and after that, we will do sit-ups, no, sorry, not sit-ups, crunches, which is basically going up but leaving your lower back on the mat, okay? We're starting in three seconds. Make sure you breathe out as you go up. Well done. 30 seconds of rest. Okay, we're going to go for wide push ups. Well done. Okay, ready for crunches? Lower back stays on the floor. Make sure you breathe out as you go up. So it's Next one. Start off with only one. This will be for our triceps exercise. We're going to put our hands on top, put our feet as far as we can, and we're going to go down like this and up. Want to make it easier? Just go closer, okay? Same thing, just easier. You can obviously bend your knees a little bit. What's really important is that you try to bend your, your elbow so your triceps has to do the effort here. Ready, three, two, one. You always breathe out when you do the effort. You really feel it now, burning. Oh. Three more seconds. Nice one. 
Okay, now you can put the two chairs in such a way that they form a V. A V from this V. And we're going to use them to do our press ups on. Okay, this way we can go a tiny bit deeper, which strains our chest more than just the triceps just now. That's a good one. Well done. Okay, now you can take the chairs away because we're going to do our abs. Oh, we're going to sit down. We're going to do Russian twists. Lift our heels, our hands folded together. We're going to go like that. Okay. If you find them too hard, just put your heels on the mat. Okay. Ready? Feels more like Russian dancing and Russian twists. <laughs> well done. That was two times three minutes. Now we'll do everything one more time. So in total, we have four times three minutes, which is 12. Don't forget to drink. And then we're ready for our narrow push-ups again so hands close close to each other and elbows close to your body if you can't do them on your feet do them on your knees going to go to wide push-ups okay as wide as you can which is more for your chest the narrower you go the more it's for your triceps the wider you go the more it's for your chest if you can't do them on your feet do them on your knees but make sure you are in a straight line okay so it's 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 not this okay it's knees together feet together across like that if you want to do them on your knees ready too hard, do them on your knees. So 30 seconds are too hard, only do 10, only do 20, only do 25, only do 28 like I just did. No shame in that. Okay, we're going to go to our crunches now. Almost there. Remember to keep your lower back on the mat. Breathe out as you go up. Wow. 
Well done. Great job. For the next one, you will be eating the chairs again. So go and get them, please. Put one on the side, that's for the second one. And first one here, it's just for the triceps. Remember, want to make it hard? Go and stand far away from the chair. Want to make it easier? Go and stand closer. Okay, make sure you don't pull the chair because otherwise it might fall on you. V-shape. You might wonder why the V-shape, because this V would miss the V. V-shape here. No, basically, so you can go between the chairs uh, with your chest. I didn't say that before, but if it's too difficult on your feet, again, on your knees, straight line, on your knees, same thing. Or just do it less. Oh, ready? together and we're going to twist to the side. If you can't, just put your feet on the floor or do it last time. Ready? Remember, it's not important how long you've done it. If you've done 10, 20, or 30 seconds, if you did it on your knees or not, easier version of not or not, that's not important. What's important is that you make progress. You know what you're capable of now. Let's see in a week's, week's time, two weeks' time, a month's time, what you're capable of. Okay, it's all about individual progress, not, not anything else. Okay, we're gonna start our stretching now. We're gonna stretch our chest, and put our hands behind our back, behind our head, sorry and press our elbows backwards. So, elbows backwards, and like this we stretch our chest. If you can, look up, and you stretch it even more. Just hold it like that, keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Pull that chest open, like Superman or Superwoman. Now we're going to Place our hands behind our back. Hold, I always hold two fingers and just stretch like that. Oh, that feels really good after a good chest workout. Again, if you can lift your head, you feel your chest stretch even more. Well done. We're gonna stretch our triceps now, okay, up here, and just stretch. 
We're doing passive stretching now, or static stretching, so without moving. That's what we do at the end, and we do the dynamic stretching, so with moving at the beginning. Well done. Okay, other arm. Very good. Now, we place one hand in between our shoulder blades, with the other hand we press our elbow down, like that. Or you can really feel that now. You couldn't hear me, right? <laughs> you can really feel that now. And now we swap. I'm not sure if you're thinking about how we're going to stretch our abs. You know how? By doing the opposite. So we're going to go down. Hands here. We're going to do the cobra. That's it. Stretch those abs. Well done. Now our side abs as well. Our obliques right here. We're actually not stretching these, now we're stretching these. So you just put your arm up and you try to bend towards that side so you can really feel it stretch here. We were training those when we were doing the Russian twists. Keep on breathing. And instead of turning my back to you, whoop, I'm going to turn like that. And now the same thing here. We really feel it stretch there. And that's it, everyone. Well done. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you do, then make sure that you tune in again tomorrow for another session. Remember, it's all about your individual progress. You do this, this workout whenever it's more, most convenient for you. If it's in the morning, maybe, maybe it's during lunchtime, maybe it's in the evening, maybe you want to do it with your whole family together, maybe you want to do it twice, who knows? Maybe you want to do this one and another one as well. You decide, okay? But stay fit, stay active, stay healthy, and stay safe. Thank you everyone. This was P with Mr. P. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave your comment at the bottom, and make sure you subscribe as well to P with Mr. V. And if you turn on the notification button, then you will never miss a video because it will be sent to you as soon as it gets out. Okay, thank you, stay fit, see you soon.